Hey, good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy Steen. Okay, today's workout is a lower body session. We're gonna focus all on those lower body muscles, glutes, hamstrings, quads, and calves today. All right, grab a variety of dumbbells for the workout. I'm also gonna use a bench, something to step up on, but if you don't have that, I'll show you a modification. The format will be 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds in between, and right below there you can see the dumbbells that I'll use in today's workout. I'll also list the ones for each specific exercise at the top of the screen right after each exercise. Now remember, these are the weights that I use. Please lift within your own abilities. I'm going to start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. Upper body is probably a good workout to do for tomorrow, so you can click or tap the card at the top of the screen and there's one to download. Okay. Are you ready to move daily? Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna click uh, strength on my watch and we'll warm things up here. Let's start with a hip opener. Up and around she goes. <laughs> Where she stops, nobody knows. Oh, she's gonna stop with some really sculpted muscles. That's where she's stopping, <laughs> right? Of course. Okay, two more here. And take it wide, let's touch our toes. Last one here, and we'll hit that side to side lunge. Reach your hips back and just lengthening in through that inner thigh. You can drop the shoulder toward the opposite knee. Very good, let's move into a static lunge. Little pelvic tilt and we're gonna drop for 10 per leg. Just warming up the hip flexor a little bit here. last one here and we'll switch and tilt and drop straight up and down your body is nice and tall okay just again getting those muscles all warmed up ready to lift last three and let's take it wide toes are out plie and open in the chest here Last one here, bring the feet shoulder width. We're gonna reach low up to the tiptoes. We'll warm those calves up a bit here as well. There we go. All right, just some little leg extensions right behind you for 15 per leg. Five more. I'm switching sides. Five more. Let's finish off with some heel digs. Heel is up. Toe is up rather, heel is down. <laughs> Sweep it. Very good, all right. There's the first circuit. Grab your bench, because we're starting with that, but I'll show you the modification. Okay, we're hopping right into it with that step up. If you don't have a bench, I want you to hit a squat with a alternating high knee, okay? Otherwise, up, up, down, down, just alternating your step. So you're here and down, tap at the bottom and tap.
Okay, going into the tiptoe squat, I'm gonna also hold these 12s up on my shoulder. Plant a toe, all right? The majority of your body weight's gonna be on that flat foot leg. Drop it low. I'll call half and then we'll switch the toe. One more on this side and switch. I'm gonna grab my 15s for this three-point deadlift. First round, toes are straight. Second, toes are in. Third, toes are out. You're gonna hinge at the waist, reach those hips back. And we're slow, two, three, and up. Again, my feet are just facing the front here. Really reach the hips back, think about it like your butt is shutting a car door shut. Okay, you're just gonna boom, reach it back. Arms are long, back is super flat. set those down let's go into that little active rest that's also going to help us use some a lot of those fast twitch muscle fibers we're going to do abductor jumps and two squats there's your low impact so you're here and two squats here good two jumps two squats feel free to stick with the full jump if you'd like Round two, I'm gonna go to my 15s now. All right, you're gonna do that regular squat knee or your step up here. Shoulders back and alternate. All right, tiptoe lunge, uh, squat. Okay, sticking with 15s, I'll call half. Last here, switch sides. Mm -hmm. 
Move into my 20s. Now toes will be slightly in. Do feel free to keep them straight if you don't like how this feels. Ever so slightly. All right, we're hinging. Slow, two, three. Core is engaged. We've filled up our abdomen with air. We're holding those core muscles in place. So we're not using our back as much. It is still activated slightly. Think about your glutes and hamstrings here. Reach. Last here. Moving into your abductor jump. Two jumps, two squats, or you can do all squats or all jumps. I'm doing two and two. Start with the abductor. Round three, I'll go back to the 15s. Step up with a squat knee. Shoulders back, super tall. into the tiptoe. Gets the heart rate up, doesn't it? Those step ups, I love them. So good, functional exercise too. Work. Switching toes. Let's move into our deadlift. I'll hold 20s again, this time Toes are ever so slightly out, or keep them straight if you wish. Hinge.
finishing off with the abductor jump. Two and two, one and two, all abductor jumps. Wherever you're at, that's what you do. All right, I'm starting with my jump. Let's work. Very good. Grab some water, pause longer if you need a longer rest. There's the next circuit, grab the weights you need. All right, let's go with a curtsy lunge, shall we? Feel free to do a reverse lunge if you don't love the curtsy. I'm alternating, I'm holding 15s. All righty, here we go. And we drop and switch. Now, you could always hold the weights up here. It makes it slightly more challenging on your core because you're pressing down on that spine. So you really do have to activate those abs and erector spinae muscles. But if you have tennis elbow, this is the way to hold them. I don't have it, but I just thought I'd give you a tip. Moving to my glute thrust. This can be done on the ground if you don't have a bench. All right, I'm grabbing a 45. We're gonna pause or pulse at the top. Here we go, low, one, one thousand, low, one, one thousand, good. I want you to squeeze. If you're on the ground, you can uh, lay your head right on the floor, but if you're on a bench, make sure your chin is tucked into your chest. All right, into the sit squats, and I'm gonna hold my 20s. And if you don't have something to sit on, feel free to just hit another squat here. Wide stance, and press. Up through the heels, don't plop. Push straight up, and you control the down. So, name of the game here is that the shin is perpendicular to the ground. All right, so you don't want to go knees far over your toes at all. As soon as you leave the bench, it's straight up to the ceiling. Set those down, wipe your pants because now they're dirty. Into the cardio, we're gonna do a sumo squat. Tap right there, there's your low impact. I'm gonna jump it in the center, you do whatever you like. Wide stance, all right, and tap. Get low. Thank you. 
Round two, back to your curtsy. Alternating. Let's go into the glute thrust on your back, on the ground or on your bench. Or couch. Whatever's stable, feet close to the bottom. Squeeze at the top, let's go. Nice. All right, sit squats. Whew. Just, I never clean those, do I? Always have dirty pants. All right, wide stance, push to the ceiling. Don't plop. Straight up and down. Squeeze those quads, flex at the top. All right, moving into our cardio. Whew. We are sweaty, sweaty here. It's always amazing what we can do with those big muscle groups. Wowza. Okay, round three. Those quads are on fire. Mm. Alternating curtsy.
Nice. Glutes. Chin to the chest. Make sure you pause and squeeze up here. Nice. Woo, fire, fire. Let's go to the sit squat. Oh, mercy. <sighs> I always do that. Mm. Work, push, up. Don't plop. The control is the biggest part. Okay, feel those abs engage as you control the down phase. Push straight up. You should be so much in your heel, you may even feel like tipping backwards slightly. Finishing off with that cardio. Hiya. All right. Oh, I don't know why that was so hard. 30 second rest. Pause if you need longer. This last circuit's a bit shorter. Get ready. We're starting with that plie pulse and hold the 20. You're gonna pulse at the bottom. Super wide stance, shoulders back. Nice and tall, get as low as you can with knees out over the toes. And we're down, pulse, and drive and squeeze. Holding the 15 for the pendulum swing. It's that front lunge, reverse lunge, I'll call halfway. And we'll switch the stationary leg. All right, that's a 20. 15, here we go. Your lunge reverse, switch and front. Or opposite of what I just said. Right, switch your static or stationary lunge leg, and here we go front and reverse. Good 
Very good. Setting that down back to your plie pulse. I'm going to go with the 25. Right stance. And pulse. Shoulders back. here and into the pendulum again I'll stick with the 15 are you sweaty like crazy <laughs> I know me too here we go tall lunge and switch sides. One more round, folks. Whew. Wide stance. Of course, you could feel free to tag on some extra uh, blasts if you like. I just looked at my timer and realized we're at the 30 minutes. I didn't want to go over. 30 minute workout are supposed to be. <laughs> last here. All right, last exercise. Let's finish strong here. With that pendulum, I'll stick with the 15. Here we go, and front. All right, switch your leg. Two, one and done. Yim of daily in your lower body workout. Ha, ah, that was work. Thanks for joining, join for a stretch. If you can, don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed today's workout. Nice work everyone. Let's lift the heel up on something, a couch, chair, bench, knee is soft, but you're gonna hinge forward, lengthen through that hamstring, whoo. That was good. I am like tremendously sweaty from that. Adding those little active rest blasts. Well, they're not, I wouldn't necessarily say that was active rest. It was more like a plyometric muscle fiber recruitment, <laughs> right? It's like a little blast to kick heart rate up, but also really to fire up all of those muscles. Oops, sorry, in the legs, which we definitely felt, did we not? Let's go into an IT band stretch crossover. Deep breath in and hinge right here. Ah. 
Try to reach that hip toward the back wall there. That is what I call a good amount of bang for your buck for a 30 minute workout. But legs do that because they're big muscle groups, okay? Big stretch up and hinge. So they require more energy to push them, to use them. Plus we use a lot heavier weights than we do with upper body, right? Because they're more capable. So it does feel like you're getting a good cardio workout in as well. Mind you, the step ups at the start, I love, I love to just kick the heart rate up right away and then I kind of stay that pace throughout. I, I like that personally. You may not, but if you followed along with my workouts, you may notice that I try to do that, right? Uh, and I don't know, if I'm doing a workout that's short but intense, that's what I like to do. If I'm doing one that is like four rounds or five rounds and I'm progressively overloading, then I would start really light and easy and ease my way into the heavier weights. But uh, with the three sets like we did today, I, I just kind of want to maximize. Let's go into a glute stretch here and yeah, maximize my time. So some of us only have the 30 minutes, right? In our busy lives right now. So it is great to get as much bang for your buck as you can. Of course, with good form and safety measures in place. <laughs> Always lift within your own abilities. Uh, you know, sometimes I'll post a reel and I always list the weights that I use for my workout. Lots of people have asked me to do that, so that's why I do it. Uh, and people are like, well, I can't start like that. That's too heavy. I'm like, I know that's because it's my workout for me. <laughs> always, always, always start light and work your way up. That is the best way to do it. What am I doing here? I don't know. I just felt like I needed to pull this up. <laughs> See my workout sometimes. Thanks for joining. I'm going to cut it short because my camera's dying. Thanks. I'll see you in the next workout.